Hello everyone, Janet here with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and stay well. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop. So today we are driving throughout Whitefish and Columbia Falls, a little bit even into Martin City, which is between Columbia Falls and West Glacier. And we are looking at homes between 800,000 and 1.2 million. So find a seat, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get into these. And also if you're looking for a Montana home or property, reach out to me. I would love to answer any questions that you have. It's never too early to just shoot me a message and kind of let me know what your interests are and your timeline, and then we can go from there. Okay, so this first listing that we're going to see is east of downtown Whitefish on 2nd Street right now, which is also Baker Ave, which is also 93. <laughs> so you could definitely walk downtown from here if you wanted to. High school is just that direction over there. Okay, so this is a newer neighborhood. You can tell a lot of the mountain modern design in here. You have those wonderful mountain views. At the stop sign, turn right onto Wild Rose Lane, then turn right onto Ponderosa Court. The only bummer about this neighborhood is that the railroad tracks go right there, which is pretty common in Whitefish and Columbia Falls to have that railroad noise in town. Okay, so something I love about the Mountain Modern Designs are all those windows. It's not my favorite look from the outside, which <laughs> I know it is some people's, um, but I love them from the inside and just those window views. So the listing that we're looking at is coming up here on the right. It's this brown and black one and white here. So they should have some nice mountain views out the back windows. Let's drive through the rest of the neighborhood and then I'll stop and we can take a look at the photos and I can tell you a few more details about the home. So this neighborhood does have the um, nice little lamp post there you see. It's going to probably have an HOA fee for maintenance. And then a right turn out of the neighborhood is going to take us back into town. A few more details about this home. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom, 3,024 square feet of living space. Um, custom home located close to town and the schools. This is in the High Point subdivision and completion was early 2021. It was listed for $1,045,000 and this one closed so it is not available any longer but if something in this neighborhood would interest you let me know. I can certainly get you connected. All right that's all for that one. So we are going to head through town now and over to another area where I have a couple more to show you, kind of along the lake, a neighborhood off of that. Um, one thing to note, if you live in Whitefish, especially if you go over that viaduct, you will need to deal with traffic anytime you wanna go anywhere. <laughs> in the summer and in kind of that Christmas to New Year season in the winter, um, which can be kind of annoying. You just need to know that in advance and leave time. If you're on the outskirts of Whitefish like here, you could probably head east and head out. Or if you're on the west side of the lake, you could head up Carroll Ave and kind of avoid that downtown cluster of traffic. But if you're over the viaduct, you pretty much need to go back up over the viaduct, I believe, <laughs> to get back to where you're going. I've had some friends complain to me about that. Um, so their rental is over there, not their forever home, thankfully for them. Um, just a heads up on that. All right, so those HOA dues for Ponderosa Court are $600 a year, so not too bad. Um, we are moving on now. I just turned off after the lodge at Whitefish Lake, which by the way, if you're visiting the area, it's a wonderful place to stay. If you aren't able to get reservations there, you could also just go there for dinner um, in the dining room or lunch out on the deck. Beautiful views over Whitefish Lake and the mountain backdrop there. Um, but anyways, we are heading up to Cantrell Court, which I feel particularly drawn to. Maybe I'll live there someday. <laughs> um, but um, this home is really 
special. I'm going to show you the photos first and then I'll take you up. It has already closed so we won't get to see too, too much of it. Um, it's at the end of the road so I don't want to be too invasive to the new owners. Um, but this one was, you'll see, a million fifty thousand on this one. And it's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 4,358 square feet of living space. Beautiful log home look on this one, but nice open living space inside. Great finishes, big windows. You've got the fireplace there. Gourmet kitchen. And this one, it said backed up to 3,000 acres of public land with hiking, biking, and ski trails out your door. And this one has 24 foot ceilings. And this one is on just shy of an acre for the lot size. So this was a few miles off the main path. And um, I did just want to mention, so <laughs> when I said if you were over that, viaduct you would have to deal with the traffic when going back into town but one nice thing is when you're heading up to the ski hill in the winter you wouldn't have to go through the in-town traffic because you would already be past town so there is a perk on that side So the next one that we're going to see is kind of in this same general vicinity. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one up and we'll take a look. All right, so this next one, just around the corner, is on Morrison Road. Again, recently sold. And like I said in my Kalispell video, these are not my listings. These are just listings that I found that sold recently or are currently available that I thought would give you a good variety of homes within the area. All right, and just a few more details. It was a three bedroom, three bathroom, $1,100,000, 2,792 square feet of living space. It was on three, just over three and a half acres. So good acreage there, nicely wooded, fenced garden. It did have a finished bonus room over the three car garage, 12 foot RV bay. These, all of these so far have been on paved roads, which is nice. No CCRs or HOA and just 10 minutes to downtown, 15 minutes to the slopes, biking, hiking and cross country ski trails. So let's head a little further. We're going to head along the lake now. In Whitefish, it is hard to get a lakefront property for this price. However, I did find one unique one <laughs> that fit the price range. It has some oddities, so let's head that way and we'll find out more. Actually, I just saw another one for sale on the way out, currently active. So let's take a look at that before we head over to the lake. two homes up this drive so you would have help hopefully there's some nice gardens there in the yard i'm going to pull over here at the end of the drive and we'll take a closer look at the listing okay so this one is on almost five acres just shy of five acres 
uh, let's see here. It is a two bedroom, two bathroom home, 1,728 square feet of living space. So a little smaller than these other the others that we've seen in this area. However, um, the most acreage of those that we've seen has three outbuildings, a detached three car garage, a 20 by 16 shed, and a 12 by 10 lean to. All right, so we have arrived at Eagle Creek Trail. It was a paved road all the way up here, surprisingly, and I will kind of show you the views, beautiful views all the way down. Um, looks like some building is going to start happening, but this home is older. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, 2,140 square feet of living space. And uh, this one was listed for $800,000, um, but it has no well, wood heat, and it does have Whitefish Lake shared access with available boat slips. It's not actually on the lake, but it overlooks the lake. So you have the beautiful lake views and then that access. So fuel source is wood, heating type is the wood and stove, roof was metal. It has electric septic system, a spring and then telephone here. So that's it for that one. So let's head now over to Columbia Falls. There are plenty of more homes in Whitefish within this price range and actually some of the neighborhoods that I showed you in the um, 400 to 800,000 have homes in this price range as well. But I just wanted to give you a kind of a variety instead of taking you to the same neighborhoods. So let's head over to Columbia Falls and see what we can find there. And like I said in my last video as well, if you are working with a real estate agent, hopefully it's me, but if not and you are buying a home virtually, make sure they're giving you kind of a 360 degree view around the house and then also kind of the road approach and surrounding areas as well so you have a really good feel going into it of what you're getting into. And that lake, that um, those lake views from that last house, that was Whitefish Lake. I'm sorry, I just kept saying the lake. <laughs> Because in Whitefish, that would be the lake you'd be referring to. Although there are so many lakes in Montana. But any other lake, I would specify the name of. But that's kind of the biggest one in Whitefish. So it's the lake. Okay, so this is our first home in Columbia Falls. It's that great home in the distance. And this location is right off Highway 40 between Whitefish and Columbia Falls, although it's a Columbia Falls address, but super convenient location. It looks like this home is at the end of the road. So I'm just going to come on up and turn around here. And then I will get you some further details on this property. So this home is an eight bedroom, five bathroom, 5,741 square feet of living space. It's a log post and beam construction situated on 10 acres with mature trees, private end of road location. And it has an oversized detached garage shop with space to add guest quarters. Paved driveway, RV hookup would be perfect for horses. And this is the next home. Nice big fenced in front yard. Big windows. So let's pull off. So up here, and we'll veer to the right, and that will go right out to Highway 40. So actually, let's stop and see if we can hear any road noise. 
The mountains are over here. It's very smoky. Has been for a couple weeks now, unfortunately. A little bit of road noise up here. Probably not much at that home. Okay, so a little bit more about the one that we just drove by. Three bedroom, three bathroom, 2,282 square feet of living space. It is a Swedish Cope log home nestled on five fully fenced and landscaped acres. Ready for horses, circular driveway, full length windows on the west side of the home. On the upper floor, there is the main bedroom with an attached balcony as well as the ensuite bathroom. The fully finished basement has additional living room with a built-in desk for office space, utility room with storage, and a third bedroom and bathroom. Underground sprinklers, water wheel to irrigate the large fenced grounds. Also has a heated 1,079 square feet shop with 12 foot garage bay doors. Perfect for housing your recreational vehicles. There is an additional 751 square feet of cold storage above the garage and covered wings for additional parking and storage. So definitely a lot of bang for your buck here. And like I said, the location can't be beat convenience wise. 995,000 for that one. Okay, so this next property is in the Meadow Lake Golf Course in Columbia Falls. And we have been here before, I believe in my 400 to 800,000. And I think I said there too as well that, well, normally I've never wanted to live on a golf course. This golf course in Eagle Bend in Big Fork actually changed my mind. I do really like both of them. And I've walked in both of them at various times of the year and they're just beautiful to walk through and in wildlife and it's just quite lovely. So this one that we are coming up on actually went under contract in December of 2020. So it would go for a little bit higher now, but we're still going to take a look just for a reference point. Okay, so just a few more details about this home. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom home, 3,653 square feet of living space. Newly constructed luxury home located on the sixth fairway of the golf course. Four fireplaces, three master suites, expansive walk-in closets, beautiful open floor plan with hardwood flooring, knotty alder cabinets, custom granite throughout. It has two main floor master suites, both offering the large closets, granite counters, soaking tubs. A third master suite is located over the garage, has a full bath, kitchenette, and a fireplace in the living room. And like I said, this one went under contract in December, 895,000. So again, when you're looking at prices, and I mentioned this in my other uh, home tour videos, in price ranges but basically in the last year what we're seeing is you need to add one to three percent a month typically when I'm doing comps I'll add one but I have heard appraisers say in Columbia Falls they've been adding up to three percent so it just varies so <laughs> keep that in mind when you're looking volleyball courts, I believe some tennis courts. It actually has multiple pools because this one is back here and there's one at the front of the neighborhood with the clubhouse, restaurant, all kinds of amenities in here for you. That said, there is an HOA fee in here. Um, on the listing it says $130 plus minus quarterly. So I'm not sure what's up with the plus minus, um, but 130 quarterly would not be bad but I imagine it might be a little bit more than that. Okay, so this next property is downtown. It is a very unique property. The downfalls are, because it's downtown, it is kind of hit and miss in what the surroundings are, and there is the railroad track <laughs> right past this building over here. 
So you would definitely hear some railroad noise. The positives are that it has the most amazing views over the river and the mountains, which I will show you um, in the photos from the listing. You see the mountains right up there straight ahead. And then the river is going to be right back behind some of these homes here. And it's a very unique property for Montana especially. I feel like it looks like it kind of belongs in the um, hills of California <laughs> with the layout. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we go through the photos. So it's this home right here, this rancher. It also includes this three-car garage, um, this fenced-in area, which overlooks, you see that, well, you can kind of see the mountains there. It's so smoky right now today, but they go all the way up. It also includes this garage shop and this other fenced-in area. So it spans three city lots, which is also wonderful. Okay, so here you can kind of see a little bit more of what the views would be. The river is right down there. Okay, so the details on that downtown Columbia Falls listing on Vance Avenue, five bedroom, five bathroom, 4,867 square feet of living space. Built by DC Dunham, founder of Plum Creek. I do not know who that is, maybe you do. Of course, the three car attached heated garage, sunroom, pool, hot tub. Oh, sits on four city lots. I was incorrect. I said three. 80 by 32 foot finished shop with half bath and compressor RV parking with full hookups, potential second dwelling, VRBO or bed and breakfast. Awesome entertaining as we saw. And that, this one, $878,500. So I kind of feel like that's a steal for all of that. If you don't mind a uh, train noise. Lot size is 1.97 acres, so just shy of two acres there. No HOA fees or anything to contend with. So now we are going to leave Columbia Falls. I'll kind of show you this little loop around as we head out, and we're gonna to head to Martin City, which is between Columbia Falls and Glacier National Park. And there you see the railroad tracks I was referencing. So you would definitely hear those, the trains coming through there. Okay, so it is Thursday. I forgot to tell you guys that. July 29th, it is 97 degrees out today, a scorcher. And they do have the farmer's market here today, right here in downtown. And it's one of my favorites. And if you want to see more about Columbia Falls, you can view my um, Columbia Falls City Moving Guide or my Columbia Falls Downtown Walking Tour for that as well. Okay, so this next home is in Martin City in Glacier Hills subdivision. We actually won't get to drive back and see it because it's a gated community and this house is already closed. But I just kind of wanted to show you the drive up and then a little bit of Martin City as well so you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so a few details about this home before I show you the photos. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom home, 3,152 square feet of living space. It's a log home on almost nine acres and it has breathtaking views into Glacier National Park. Also, this subdivision, it does back up to National Forest Service, so you have that access as well if almost 10 acres isn't enough for you. <laughs> Uh, let's see, home has dramatic great room, cathedral ceilings, log beams, stained glass windows, stone fireplace, wraparound deck, large family room, bonus room, two car garage, in-floor heating plus a newer heat pump air conditioning system, 22 kilowatt generator with automatic backup power, underground sprinklers, fruit trees, paved parking, and access. And this was a paved paved roads all the way up to this subdivision as well. And this is, as I said, between Glacier National Park and Columbia Falls. There's not a whole lot in Martin City, so you will need to probably go to uh, Columbia Falls to do your shopping and that sort of thing. And that one was uh, 1025000 And then the other one I wanted to show you is in the same subdivision. It was $775,000, also closed. Three bedroom, two bathroom home, 1,992 square feet of living space. 
Um, less acreage on this one, just over three and a half acres. This one has custom Amish handcrafted cabinets, hardwood floors, nine foot ceilings, geothermal heating, laundry just off the oversized heated garage, large home office space, perfect for those who enjoy working remotely. This one was listed in July of 2020, so a year ago, and it went under contract in January of 2021. So you would have to add a little bit to that. So at 775, it would probably be in our 800,000 to 1.2 million range, but hey, on the bottom of that. So <laughs> let me know if any of these homes interest you, if any other homes in the area, if you have any questions, reach out. I would be happy to help, happy to answer your questions. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next video drops. I will be doing Big Fork and Lakeside next and summer's homes from 800,000 to 1.2 million so stay tuned have a great week you guys i'll see you next time and just so you guys know there is a small grocery store right there in hungry horse plus the huckleberry patch which is amazing <laughs> which is right next door to martin city so you wouldn't have far to go for that but for anything bigger you need to head into Thank you.